Hey guys, Cactus here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be looking into the myth that you can affect your spawn location, so that you can start a tower, in a position closer to the ladder. In order to test this myth, I decided that I needed to run each test multiple times to see if anything altered the normal spawn location. I settled on running them 50 times each, which allowed for a large enough pool of data, to confirm if any method actually worked. For each of the tests I am about to run, I will use this graphic depicting the floor of the tower, to mark and analyze the spawn locations. The flashing area, is the bottom platform. And this is the ladder. I have also divided up the floor into three zones. I will refer to these as the close, middle, or far zones. The numbers around the right edge will show how many spawns occur in each of the zones. This will help me to determine the frequency of spawning in each zone. So, the first thing I have to do is set a baseline to compare all the other tests to. I will therefore do a slash skip 50 times and log each location. As you can see, I spawn 7 times in the close zone, 29 times in the middle zone, and 14 times in the far zone. If I convert these to percentages, you can see that the middle zone is by far the most likely spawning location with a total of 58%. The far zone is second with 28%, and the close zone is down at 14%. Now that the baseline values are recorded, I can now use them to compare with 5 methods people might use to affect spawn location. Ok, first of all, let's test if standing at the bottom of the ladder affects your spawn location. I ran my test 50 times as before, and as you can see, the numbers are very similar, with the middle zone yet again being the most likely location with a 60% value, and the far zone's 22% value, beating the close zone's 18%. Next I will run another 50 tests, but this time when the player is actually on the ladder. This time it is even closer to the baseline tests. The middle zone yet again dominates with 54%, whilst the far zone is exactly the same 28% as the baseline. The close zone was slightly more, coming in at 18%. Now, let's see if standing at the back of the tower, as far away from the ladder as you can be, will affect results. This time the middle zone was exactly the same as the baseline results, coming in at 58%. The other two zones were closer though, with values of 20 and 22%. The next test will be if you are actually standing on a stage before you respawn. And, yet again, the middle zone is the most popular spawn location, coming in with 46%. Both of the other zones were pretty close to each other with 26 and 28%. Finally, let's see if running towards the ladder will help you spawn closer to the ladder. And with 56%, the middle zone yet again proves the most popular spawn location. This time the far zone is exactly the same as the baseline with 28% and the close zone being the least likely, with 16%. So, let me just pop all 6 results up on screen. And what can I say? In all the tests the middle zone is by far the most likely place you will spawn. Second is the far zone. And you seem to have far less chance of spawning in the close zone. Taking into account a margin for error, there seems to be no significant changes where you will spawn, regardless of what you do. And for a bit of extra fun, what if I collate all 300 tests together? You can see that the middle zone wins with an average of 55.33%. The far zone is next with 26%. And the close zone is last with 18.67%. So after all that testing, I conclude that there is nothing that you can do, to affect your spawn location. It really is random luck where you will spawn but perhaps it is weighted in some way in favor of the middle and far zones. This Tower of Hell myth, is busted. Thanks for watching my video, and please remember to like and subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Until next time, this is Cactus signing off.